Welcome, my name is Thomas Lethford. I'm here to share in this video of uh, Schedule 3, which is additional credits and payments. What they did in 2019 again was they reconfigured to send the 40 form as well as made uh, six schedules into three. And so, Schedule 3 is combined with Schedule 5, which is non refundable credits and other payments and refundable credits. And so, in this video, I'm just going to do a, a brief overview of what uh, non refundable credits and other payments and refundable credits are about uh, for the 2019 tax season. And, and if there's anything you want to know more about for the form or schedule, or say you got a tax return issue that you need to be resolved, or want to know if I had to do the return, how would I prepare the return, then you can leave me a comment in the comment section. I will actually do the return by leaving me enough information to put aside my Drake software to do that particular return for you to show you how I would do it based on the information given. Uh, so I've been in this industry for the last 19 years, the last 13 as a business owner. And so I specialize in helping people who are already working in this industry uh, transition from working for a tax firm to owning their own tax business. And yes, I have a partnership program as well where you can get started and start your own tax business as well from a partnership point of view. And so I run across people all the time who uh, has this fallacy that people uh, know how to operate and start their own business when they don't. You have two options in this world. You can learn how to do the things uh, on your own or you can fast track your success and connect with someone who's already been there and done where you're trying to go. And so the choice is yours. The smart choice is connect with someone who's already in the industry, who has more experience, more knowledge, more insight than you who already have a tax service set up, who've been there for years, who you can invest in through that program that's going to help you set up your tax service, uh, that's going to help fast track your success, that's going to help you uh, to escape the pitfalls of making mistakes that you naturally would make by being in this industry, or any industry for that matter, of uh, what I bring to the table uh, as far as uh, working with people who want to transition themselves from being an employee to their own boss. That's what I hope to do. So in this video, we're going to go into uh, additional credits and payments, Schedule 3, 2019, uh, Part 1, non-refundable credits. Some of the most popular ones that um, I see with my clientele uh, is the education credit, which is Form 8863. Uh, we have child care credit, which is 2441. We have the uh, retirement savings contribution credit, which is 8880. Um, and so those are most popular credits that are seen by the clientele I've been doing over the last 19 years, uh, last 13 in this industry as a business owner. Then we go to part two, other payments and refundable credits, where we deal with uh, net premium tax credit, which is form 8962. And this would generally extent, this journey is for people who pay for their own insurance out of their own pocket, uh, this uh, form and uh, apply to them their general receipt with 295A and they bring it into the tax office with the rest of their uh, tax documents uh, during that time which should play a role in if they're going to get a refund or not. Uh, this is one of the things that they must bring in in the beginning process of um, uh, doing a return because what we found out in general is for people who had a 295A who didn't bring it in right away with their tax return once the tax return was filed without that information on it, the tax return was put on hold by put on hold by the IRS and wasn't finished uh, processing until that information was uh, submitted. And so that's what we learned uh, by having that situation come about uh, uh, several years ago uh, when it came to the uh, Affordable Care Act and how it plays a role with the 295A, the 295B, and the 295C. Uh, the BNC is no problem, it's just the 1095A is the only one that must be submitted with the return, not to hold a, a possible refund if you have one up from being processed. And so, uh, another credit that you generally will see is when people who had the education credit, uh, they would have a refundable part that's dealing with that. The 8863, uh, you have a the most you can deduct is twenty five hundred in uh, education expenses, but the refundable piece uh, went up to a thousand. So uh, that'll be part of the payment section 
when it comes to the refundable credit part of a refund. And um, let's mainly get uh, for this particular form when it comes to payments and refunds uh, or and payments deal with child tax credit, I mean, additional child tax credit, earned income credit, and federal withholdings. And so those are some other things that uh, consider payments that play a role in how we calculate and determine what your possible uh, refund or balance due may be when it comes to preparing an individual income tax return. That's how that works. So if you're looking to find out more about what I do or you're looking to start your own tax business and you're already in the industry and you want to work with someone who's already established who can help you and fast track you to making uh, life-changing income and get time freedom that you like to have with you, for you and your family, uh, reach out to me with the contact information side in the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the bell notification so you can follow me on my awesome journey as I continue to be in this industry uh, for the last 19 years, the last 13 as a business owner. And again, uh, if it's a form or a schedule or a tax return that you want to see prepared uh, on this channel that you're not confident about as far as you're doing the return, then just leave me enough detailed information in the comment section and I'll make sure I make that happen inside my Drake software and I'll see you in my next video.